Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be trying out the newly released, it's the Charlotte Tilbury. She's added more to the Pillow Talk collection. She bought out a quad, it's called the Pillow Talk Dreams. She also bought out two new highlighters. I got them both, they are Romance Light and the other one is Dream Light. I also picked up a Beauty Light wand. This wasn't a new release, this was a re-release, so I'm not gonna use that today. And I also picked up two of the Lip and Cheek Glows. These were re-released as well, and they aren't new, so I won't be trying those out today. I have already got foundation on, and I've used as much Charlotte Tilbury products as I could find in my collection. So for my foundation, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now this is in 6 Warm. This foundation is definitely a full coverage, and I find, for me, this is best applied with a beauty blender. You sort of get a bit more of a sheer coverage using a beauty blender, and I think it applies really beautifully like that. I do think that with a brush, and if you're not careful with how much you apply, you can get a look so it looks a little bit mask-like, but when you're careful with the amount that you put on, I think it gives a really beautiful finish. Now to get this coverage, which I would say is a strong medium leading towards a full, all I needed was about between quarter and half a pump of product and then I put it on my hand and then I take bits off at a time and just dot it on my face and then start blending in with the beauty blender and if you do that it's just a more just a little bit more of a sheer coverage because like I said you can definitely go full coverage with this and there's a risk that it can start looking a bit mask like but this is a beautiful foundation, especially for oily skin. I know people with other skin types use it as well, but it definitely is a matte type of foundation. It's not a flat matte, and I have still put a little bit of powder over the top, but it has really good longevity and fantastic for oily skin, especially in the warmer months. Although today it is a lot cooler here in New Zealand, it's autumn, and the temperature has dropped a bit. It's still fairly warm, and this foundation looks and feels really, really lovely. And for concealer today, I think Charlotte Tilbury actually describes this one, I'm not quite sure the name of it, describes it as a corrector, but I find that it's just perfect as a concealer. And this is in the shade 2 medium. It just comes in this little packet here, and this is the product. So it has a slight peach undertone to it, but when you put it on and you just leave it, it doesn't have a peach sort of look to it. It sort of corrects and conceals. It's sort of like a two-in-one. I think this is a really lovely concealer. Again, with my oily skin, this is a cream product, so I put on a tiny amount and then share it out. And I use that by tapping it in with my fingers. If I don't put on too much of this product, then I think it gives a really beautiful finish and it doesn't crease or transfer or look cakey in any way throughout the day. And for my powder, I use the Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is in two medium i think it's two medium yes it's in two medium i actually haven't used this for a while because i have a whole lot of other powders and i just applied this just in a buffing motion and i used my lamia powder brush i didn't put this under my eyes when i first bought this i did try this under my eyes and i think it's just a little bit too heavy so for under my eyes today i use my absolute favorite and the one i use every single day and that's the by terry that's the pressed powder and that was for under my eyes but this for the rest of my face i think it gave a really beautiful finish like i said it was just a little bit and just buffed it in with a really fluffy brush and the finish now it just feels really really beautiful and for my bronzer i use the charlotte tilbury it's the airbrush bronzer now the bit on the back where it says what the shade is it's actually sort of scratched i must have placed it on something or maybe when i traveled with it i don't remember i think it is in the shade medium 
and this is a really dark bronzer so I put this on using the Sonia G this is the Niji Pro brush and I just very very lightly tap the brush into the powder and just add a little bit at a time I think it is a really lovely bronzer because it's matte I think it goes really well with my oily skin but again just a little bit at a time it is quite pigmented so if you're too heavy-handed you can end up with it looking too dark and I didn't want to go too heavy-handed with the bronzer today I just wanted a little bit for warmth but not too much for the makeup look that I'm doing today. So now let's take a look at this quad. As I was saying, this is the Pillow Talk in Dreams. I used this yesterday and I think it is gorgeous. I also have the Pillow Talk quad and I really love that too. But that is a nude pink, very soft look. This is a more amped up version for this. And I love these quads that have a couple of matte shades in them. And then you've got a couple of the shimmer metallic shades as well. I do like to use a matte, especially with my mature skin. I really like to mix mattes and the metallics or shimmers together. I think it just gives a look that is much more flattering on mature skin. So before I tried this quad out yesterday, I did swatches of it on my arm and I also filmed the quad in pristine condition. So I'm going to cut to that part now so you can take a look at the quad before I had even touched it. So Charlotte Tilbury calls this a dialed up pillow talk look and I think that's exactly what it is. It is really beautiful. I was a bit concerned that this might throw a little bit red. I don't like putting red, especially under my eyes. I like to put shadow on my lower lash line. And if it throws too much red, I can start looking like I have sore eyes and it's just not a good look. But the colors in this are really, really beautiful. So I'll also show you the quads, this new one here, the Dreams Quad, and also the original Pillow Talk side by side. So you can take a look at those. And the swatches that I did on my arm yesterday, I'll edit those in and I'll show you what they look like. So from the left, that is the new Dreams Quad. And then the one more towards my wrist, that is the Pillow Talk. So you can see when they're side by side that this new Dreams Quad is definitely more amped up and has quite a bit more pigment. So I do find with Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows, not necessarily the bigger 12 pans, but these quads, they can be a little bit hit and miss. Last year I picked up the Celestial Pearl. It's the luxury palette of pearls. And this is what she looked like. The problem with this is that possibly it's because there are just no matte shades in it. But when I applied this, and I did try it twice in case something went wrong the first time. But I just found that the shades just sort of all melded into one. And I couldn't see any real difference between the four shades once I had them on my eye. So this one isn't really a favorite of mine, but these quads where she includes a couple of mattes, I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And one of the quads that I've got, and it's nothing like the new Dreams quad, and that is the one, I think it's called Rebel. It's got a green shade in it, sort of like a grungy green in it really beautiful. I just love that quad too. So instead of going for my usual Raffa brushes that I love, I did get the other day in the mail these. Uh, they were released last year. These are the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy brushes. I'm going to start with the A503. I'm not going to say the full name. Every time I refer to a brush, I'll just refer to the number towards the end. Now this will be the third time I've used them and for synthetic brushes, I think they do a really fantastic job. I am loving them so far. So this one is the A503. And I'm going to start off by going into a matte shade. And I'm going to go into this shade here. So these brushes definitely pick up quite a bit of product. And this quad is 
lot more pigmented I think than the original Pillow Talk but of course the Pillow Talk was just supposed to be a very soft nude type quad and I do think that is a really lovely quad so even though that this is the lighter shade in the quad it lays down quite a bit of pigment so this is more of a pink with a bit of brown in which is the type of color that I really love and the next matte shade down below that is more of a berry but it also has quite a lot of brown in it as well and that's why I love this quad it just doesn't have too much red I love the brown because I'm able to use the shade on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to take the A502 brush and I'm going to go into the darkest matte shade and I'm going to put this on the outside of my eyelid, a little bit in the crease and a little bit above as well. Just enough so that you can see the shade when I'm looking straight ahead. Then I'm going to take the Sonia G, this is the soft shader brush. I'm going to go back into that dark shade and I'm going to run that under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the A, this is the 505 and I'm going to go into this metallic shade here. It's a rose one and place that on the inner part of my eyelid. I think this is a beautiful rosy shade. It's really, really gorgeous. And I'm just going to take it up slightly. And then I'm going to use the lighter shade up here. And I'm just going to use my finger and just go over the top of the other one. And it just gives it a little bit of a lift. And I think it looks really, really pretty. Then we're going to take the Refit number three brush and put some in the very inner corner, that same light shade, and just underneath here as well, just to give a little bit of sparkle. Then we're going to go back to the A, this is the 503, and just very lightly tap in the pan. I just want to go back to that lightest matte shade. I might actually even just tap it on the cloth in front of me. And I just want to go over these bits here just to soften it all out. And I've just given the wrapper number three a wipe down. And I'm going to go back into the darkest matte shade. This will just lay down a little bit more of the pigment under my eyes. And finally, I just want to line my upper lash line. Now, I do have about two or three Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. But yesterday, I used the darkest shade, the matte shade here in this quad. And I really thought that gave enough to add definition to my upper lash line. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I've now got my mascara on. And... This is the finished eye look. I think this is a really beautiful quad. I just love these colors. I'm so glad that there's quite a bit of brown in there too. I think they're just really beautiful. I think the metallic shades are gorgeous. I think they have enough pigment. I don't like things too over the top anyway. This gives a little bit of sparkle so you can have a little bit of drama if you want but it's not overdone and it doesn't seem to add any texture on my eyes. I think it is really beautiful and I love it too that the darkest matte shade is enough to give definition under my lower lash line and also my upper lash line as well. The mascara that I use today is the Chanel Le Volume 1. That's one of my favorite mascaras. Now I have used the Charlotte Tilbury, the Push Up 1, the Pillow Talk 1 before and I really like that mascara and I actually have a backup of it in my drawer but I didn't want to open that today. Last year I had about three or four mascaras opened at the same time and I just found that quite wasteful. But when I've finished the Chanel Le Volume 1, or when it's got two, it's three months. I don't like to keep mascaras longer than three months. Then I will open up the Charlotte Tilbury one. It is a really lovely mascara. I find that doesn't transfer 
or flake throughout the day. It is really, really lovely. So now I'm going to put on some blush. I've pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Cheek to Chic, and it is in the shade Ecstasy. This is a very light blush. But I wanted to show off the highlighter, so I didn't want too much pigment on my cheeks. Now I did try the highlighters yesterday as well and I think they are really really beautiful. So I'm just going to get the Chocohodo brush. This is the F03 and just swirl both of those colors together and I just want a light dust scene of color on my cheeks. I just didn't want too much. I just want to be able to show off the highlighters today. So now let's take a look at these really beautiful highlighters. There is Romance Light and Dream Light. One is described as a cool pink highlighter and the other one as a warm pink highlighter. They are both really, really beautiful. You say I swatched these on my arm. So I will show you those swatches now. And from the left, that one is the Dream Light. And then the four swatches closest to my wrist, that is Romance Light. So you can see that Romance Light is definitely more cooler in tone. It is really beautiful, but they are both just as gorgeous. And I'll be able to get use out of both of these highlighters. Now these have seven grams of product and they are made in Italy and they have this beautiful mother of pearl packaging. They are just really, really gorgeous. I don't think that the camera really does them justice, but they are really, really beautiful. So first of all, I will hold up for you Romance Light. These definitely give a highlighted look. I just used this yesterday instead of blush and I thought it was really, really beautiful. And then over the top, I put on the Dream Light and I thought that was beautiful as well. So now I'll hold up Dream Light for you to take a look at. So I'm going to take the Chukahodo brush. This is the KZ02. And I'm going to start off with Romance Light and I am going to just swirl the brush into all the colors and then I'm just going to put it all over my cheek and then I'll use one of the lighter shades just to go over my cheekbone here just so you can see what it looks like so you can see that it definitely adds some bling to your cheeks now mixed all together I think they possibly do emphasize texture a bit if that bothers you you may not like these I don't think it looks too bad like I said I wore these yesterday and when I looked at them out in the natural light I thought they looked really really pretty I think these are really beautiful highlighters but now I'm just going to go into this shade here. I'm going to use my finger and just put that over here. So you can see how much more of a highlight you can get. Now I probably wouldn't do this myself, but I'm just doing it to show you that you can get more intensity if you want to. These also blend beautifully as well. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Rafa 3. I've just wiped it down. And I'm going to go into this lightest shade here and I'm going to put some of that over the shadow that I've got on my inner corner and just put it over the top. And that has definitely added lightness in the inner corner. So it looks really lovely though. I think it's really pretty. So now I'm also going to put on Dream Light as well. Now mixed all together, this could probably act like a bronzer as well. But if you just go into the individual shades, I don't think that it's too dark for my skin tone. My skin tone's light to medium, maybe towards more the medium side. Definitely in the summer, it's more medium. But normally when I choose a foundation, it's light to medium. So by the end of this, I'm going to be very, very glowy. We're gonna take the same brush. I've just wiped it down. And again, I'm just going to mix in all the shades and I'll put it on like it's sort of a bronzer, I think. 
and it's definitely more warm toned. So now my cheeks are very lit up, but I think both highlighters are really beautiful. I probably will get more use out of the cool toned one, to be honest. The warmer one is beautiful and it sort of does emphasize the texture, but then you've got to remember that I'm layering it. I put on the cool toned highlighter, then I put more here, and then I've gone over again with the warm toned highlighter. So it's just going to keep adding and adding and emphasizing texture. But everyone has texture on their skin, and if you don't mind that sort of look, that's absolutely fine. I would probably just use one at a time and just have it a little bit more subtle because when I initially put on the cool toned highlighter, I found that it didn't really emphasize texture, not too much. It just looked really, really beautiful. So finally is lip liner and lipstick. The lip liner is Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the lip cheat. This is in Pillow Talk. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury one. And this is Dance Floor Princess. This is such a pretty shade. It's a beautiful pink. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I have a backup of this. This is how much I love it. It is a really beautiful lipstick. So here is the finished look and I think this quad eyeshadow quad dreams is just beautiful. Definitely my type of shades. It has enough pigment so you can see it. I think it blends beautifully. I love the metallic shades in it. I just think it's gorgeous. And even though there's the pink and the berries, there is just enough brown in there so I can use it under my eyes and to define my upper lash line. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I also really love these highlighters. I think they are just stunning. I'm really glowing at the moment because I put so much on to show you. But as I was saying earlier yesterday, I wore them actually instead of blush just with the soft brush like I did today and they just gave a very soft sort of ethereal glow and they really are just beautiful. These only launched in New Zealand a couple of days ago. Within a day both of these highlighters were sold out. This is definitely a popular collection. So I am thrilled that I picked these up. I think they are really really beautiful if you are a fan of charlotte tilbury quads and the 12 pan eyeshadows that she puts out as well as some of her other ones you won't be disappointed with this quad i think it is really really beautiful and it's worth it if you can get your hands on it these highlighters as well i think they are gorgeous and I will get use out of both of them. I'll get more use out of the cool toned one, but I'll also be able to use the warmer one as well. They are just both really, really beautiful. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.